everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're doing well as I always do. This is the preview of Sheffield United versus West Ham live at Bramwell Lane at 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, live on Sky Sports. As always, let's do a shout out to the channel sponsor, 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of their website where you can purchase some really nice retro gear guys from the 60s all the way through to the early 2000s as you can see from the animation that's up here. There's also Admiral and Umbro West Ham colour inspired track jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts and t-shirts, some very nice gear in there. As well, there's also England stuff in there as well and if, you, if, you, if you're Sheffield United there, there's very possibly going to be some retro stuff in there as well. So any purchases you make through the link in the description below, thank you very much for your assistance. Any commission I get from your purchases I'll be sending directly to Irons supporting food banks. You know, there's, as I've mentioned before, and and on the live streams as well, for that matter, it's a it's a charity that is very very close to my heart because I want really want to help those in the um, in the in the Newham area to uh, you know just have something to eat and you know there's a lot of people are reliant on that which will which you'll find out in the coming coming days, um, but yeah it's. It's a heartbreaking thing when when there's a lot of people nowadays that are using food banks because they're not as, as they're not as uh, I wouldn't say well off, but they're not as comfortable as you and I. And Newham is our is our home, completely. And we you know I want us to try and help those that that need need our help. So any purchases you make, by means, thank you very much. And of course, there is a link in the description below down to the crowdfunding page as well. So let's turn to the officials for this game. Uh, the referee is Martin Atkinson. Not very happy with how he's been performing recently, but at the same point, not very unhappy either. But just hopefully there is going to be a bit more le neutral ability for this, this fixture. Uh, the assistants are Konstantin Hatsidakis, I think you pronounced that. Peter Kirp on fourth official was the referee who was in charge of the Fulham game, Robert Jones. Um, on VAR is Jonathan Moss. And also the assistant VAR is Andy Halliday. Now, normally, guys, we would do, normally do a, a last six. But as Sheffield United haven't really been in the Premier League long enough, I've only gone back and done the last four. So we've bas which is basically we've won one, drawn one, and lost two against them. The last league game prior to 2005 um, isn't pretty much isn't relevant. You know, even though we did lose two, uh, one nil in that fixture. There's nothing prior to that which is has will have of any relevance because it's 15 years ago. Now, last time out, Sheffield United lost 4-1 to Chelsea in the Premier League, uh, despite going 1-0 up from a very good, very well taken co um, goal from top scorer McGoldrick uh, before Tammy Abraham's equalised and then some very good movements and goals from Chilwell, uh, Thiago Silva, and Werner. Sheffield United have only got one point. Since the start of this season, their worst in what was it, 86 years? I think they were saying up until this fixture. Along comes West Ham. Now, Sheffield United normally use either a 3-5-2 or 4-3-1-2 formation with their, their tactics so far this season. They did use 4-2, uh, sorry, 3-5-2 a lot last season as well. For that matter, you know, when we went up there last time, we all know what happened. We know that contentious handball decision, um, and also, you know, just a few little bits and pieces here and there. We played well in that game, we just unfortunately lost it, but at the same point, you know, we, we're continuing on with a very, very, very good momentum at the minute. So I'm hoping that we're going to get, we're going to see a very, very similar performance. There's long-term injuries uh, for Sheffield United, according to PremierInjuries.com, to Jack O'Connell due to a knee injury. He's out pretty much for the season. Um, Ampadu could be back for this game as, um, as he missed out. The game for because he's obviously on from Chelsea on loan. Uh, John Fleck is due to return probably the end of this month due to a lower back injury, and Mousset is um, is set for an early December uh, return due to his ankle injury. So it could play into our hands to a degree because um, you know Sheffield United had a very good game. You've got some you've got some very talented players there that are out at the moment. I mean Ampadu, as I say, could be back for this um, because of the, the the parent club clause in in loans. But we're, we're playing well, which we'll come on to in a minute. Now, unfortunately, over the last few weeks, we've had some subscribers leave. Um, and as a result, the percentage of non-subscribers 
have jumped up over the last four weeks. So it seems that you guys that are unsubscribing, I'm sorry to see you go. Of course, it'd be nice to have you guys back because uh, it'd be nice to try and get to 1700. We seem to be really, really stuck at around the 1690 figure. It was 1689 at the time of this recording. So it's, I know you guys are enjoying it because when you engage with me with the live streams and also, um, you know, apologies for the live stream that went out on Wednesday night. Because uh, you know there was, there was a pr problems with the op the operating s software that I was using the um, open broadcast software I should say um, went back to a different one that I, I, re I used originally and it worked absolutely fine so Streamlabs no idea what's going on with that but anyway um, you, you guys have enjoyed the, the conversations you guys I know you guys have enjoyed the watch alongs as well you know obviously I'm doing more live content now than I was this time last year I didn't really like doing live streams I do now they, they're a lot more enjoyable and really good fun and get to greet meet and greet and chat with some very very nice funny people but as I say 57% of you guys over the last four weeks are unsubscribed it's a 1% a, a increase over the last 24 hours as of the time of this recording on, on Thursday afternoon because this is going up live for Patreons 24 hours before it goes live on YouTube uh, so if you are one of those that have disappeared but are still watching the content then Barmies please do resubscribe and for those that are new to the channel as well um, like for example how uh, was it John uh, Paul John from the other night the Guna what, nice to, nice to see you hope you hope you do subscribe as well mate if you're watching this um, but in in general if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing then Barmans please do subscribe uh, and be nice to try and get because at the end of the day if we had if we had like 25% non subscribers the viewing the subscription counter will be absolutely huge and that's of course that's not the whole reason why I'm doing it because I, but obviously I want to try and in, in, improve the fan base of this channel all the time so if you are liking what I'm doing and haven't already done so then bar means please do click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and of course if you like this video click a like as well now turning to West Ham we were very fortunate in winning that Fulham game 1-0 just before the international break um, you know, because Sochek's goal was great as it was fantastic layout lay um yeah, layout by um Ben Rama. Alaire was in an offside position, but no more offside than Mane was when, when Liverpool scored their goal against us a few weeks ago. So swings and roundabouts. Um first five or ten minutes of Fulham we were absolutely superb. Really, really gave him a good go going over. Then we kind of lost the midfield after that and the defence was resolute as always. Um and I do. I still feel, even though I laughed at the time, and we were talking about it on the live stream this week. I do feel sorry for um, Luckman. Um, Luckman, sorry, I should say. I do feel sorry for him for the, the way he took that penalty because that's that is that was ridiculous. It was the most ridiculous penalty I've seen in a Premier League game game for time memoria, I reckon. Um, but you know, there's no, but there's no, there's no disgrace from how Fulham played. They they were very very good they gave a very good account for themselves and we were very very fortunate to pick that point up and as i said you know this is that's that's half the problem is the fact that teams teams like fulham like sheffield united and then after this is the villa game as well you know these that these are the sides that we need to be really proving ourselves against and putting a decent in position and hopefully getting at least a point on or, or if not all three i don't really want us to lose to um the sheffield united team because they are a very good side of course i mean there's they proved it last season. All right, they're not having a great run at the start of the minute, but up steps West Ham. You know that you know the form, guys. You know the history, especially after coming back from an international break. Um, now let's turn to injuries. Um, it does appear that Antonio Noble and Ogbonna could, not necessarily will, but could be back in the squad for this weekend's game. Antonio, I'm not 100% confident that he, he will be, because uh, as the time is is recording, PremierInjuries.com. Do show him to be 25%. Uh, Noble is 75%, and Ogbonna as 25%. But that will all change because because by the time this goes up live on YouTube, um, available on YouTube, I should say, not Moyes would have done his his match conference, and we would have been to get up more information. But as far as I can see, the only thing that has changed really is Yarmolenko is self-isolating after returning from international duty because of the coronavirus. It doesn't say that he's got the symptoms. He's just obviously. Um, is obviously isolating as a result because the side that he was in, some of those players have been showing positive signs of um, the symptoms. So hopefully he's okay, um, but he's, he's got to follow the guidelines. So as always, guys, let's turn to the last part of this 
video and talk about the starting eleven. Now this was very very difficult to choose um, because you know obviously with and and in case Antonio isn't available, um, but you know we've got some good balance in here. We've we've got sides that we can mix the, the formations up, and I've said time and time again that you should be changing your formations and your tactics to exploit the weakness of other the the other teams that you're currently playing playing against. And bearing in mind that the formation that Sheffield United will probably use at home, which is I'm guessing probably of the three five two to try and be in as tacking as possible, to have three up front against their defensive three is perfect. That's what I personally that's what I think we should be doing. And as as a as a result, this is my prediction. Well not my prediction, but what I would like to see as a starting eleven. Fabianski in goal with a back four of Soufal, Balbuena, Ogbonna and Creswell. Rice, Suchek and Fornells making up the midfield with Bowen, Allaire and Benrama up front. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. As I say, if you like the video, please click a like. Put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your... Um let me know your thoughts on this, the formation. Do you agree that we should be going for a 4-3-3 or should we stick with this, with the main the main f formation we're doing at the moment? Regardless of the, the opposition, we should be, be going for 3-5-1-1 3-5-1-1 or 3-5-2, depending on the formation itself. But guys, thank you very, very much for your time. If you're new around here, as I said earlier, please do subscribe. Um, and please share this content with anybody that you feel may want to watch it. It would be nice to try and get some new subscribers in. And as I say, try and get to at least six, uh, 1,700 subscribers. And guys, as always, at 5 to 2, we will be live on Sunday for the watch along. For, I had a bit of a scare earlier in the week when my telly was playing up but it's been fine for the last few days so we'll be able to do the watch along normally as so it's all, all all good for that so thank you very much for your time guys enjoy the your weekend and i hope to see you sunday afternoon all the best take care <laughs>